EA Sports. It's in the game. Boys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be throwing it back to FIFA 18. Now, this one is probably going to be quite a long one. A lot of effort is going to go into this. So if you go down, do me a favor and just drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Now, the thing about FIFA 18 is you're not just covering normal Ultimate Team because we also had the World Cup game mode on here as well. So the plan is we're going to just have a little bit of a club tour on normal Ultimate Team and on the World Cup game mode. We're going to open some packs on normal Ultimate Team and the World Cup mode, open an icon pack on the World Cup mode, and we're going to play a game on normal Ultimate Team. So there is a lot going on. It's probably going to be quite a lengthy one. But let's just get into this. First off, look at my record. Squad Battles FC on FIFA 18. It was the first year they actually released Squad Battles. And I just loved playing it. And online was toxic. Didn't touch foot champs once all year on FIFA 18. Not a single game. Just stuck to my Squad Battles. And I actually quite enjoyed this game. So, in goal, we have got Team of the Season, Allison. Obviously, the year before he moved to Liverpool. Paid 82k, I think that was for him. Decent little goalkeeper. Right back is, I think these were footies cards. Footies Danny Alves. I remember waiting for a Danny Alves card all year. He had like an 84-85 Champions League card. And I had to use it all year until that one got released right at the end. Centre back, obviously. Like why even... I've cut. Anyone who watches the channel knows he was going to be here. Team of the season, Thiago Silva. What, what do you need to say about that man? Um, love him. 195k paid. Would have paid a mil. That's what they wanted. Then next to him is Marcelo. Now, I think this guy was like some sort of objective. I can't exactly remember. But I, I want to say he was an objective or like a daily knockout tournament type thing. Which I don't have anymore, which is a shame. Then left back. And you're probably wondering why an 82 left back still makes my team. But look at how many games he played for me. And I am telling you now, all of you, whether you played this game or you didn't. This was the best left back on the game. And I'm not going to argue it. It's just a fact. It's done. My child was my guy. Then at CDM, we had Luis Gustavo. This was another guy all year that I swore by. The reason he hadn't played as many games as my child is because Luis Gustavo actually had a lot of cards. And I kept upgrading them as his new cards came out. So the team of the season one is in the team there. Then we go to the first central midfielder, which is the 92, I think like end of era Kaka. And I love this card, but if you look at his stamina there, it was 55, I think that is. And he was so unusable because of that. But I just kept him in anyway, because I love Kaka. Then the other centre mid was Anderson Taliska. This is another one who I was using all year, kept upgrading his card as new ones came out, and eventually ended up with the team of the season one. And that his card is stacked. His stats are crazy. Then at Cam... 89 baby Ronaldinho. This was the first year that Ronaldinho was back on FIFA. And once I got him, I just couldn't get rid. This is my guy. Like Ronaldinho, before Cristiano Ronaldo even, was my guy. Ronaldinho was the man that made me fall in love with football. So that's why he was there all year once I got him. Then at striker, the first one is Roberto Firmino. Honestly, I only use this guy because I packed him uh, in some sort of untradeable pack, I think. So, that's the only reason he got into the team. But he was surprisingly really good. And the man next to him needs no introduction, I'm sure. The 96 Prime Ronaldo. And the only reason I got this card was because of the Icon SBCs. Now, if you didn't play FIFA 18, basically, you could EA put out an SBC for every single Prime Icon. And you just had to grind your way towards him. And it was amazing. So you could set your sights on, like, let's say a Ronaldo. You could say, right, this might take me three months, but I'm going to keep grinding my rewards, do champs, do battles, whatever, and get myself to a Ronaldo. And that's what I did. So, onto the bench. Team of the season, Suarez. Nothing to say about him. 86 SBC Charisma. Another card that I absolutely loved. Uh, played 415 games of him. Did really well for me. He always seems to be good on FIFA Charisma. Then Robin Van Persie. Now, if you remember, I said in the last episode that my gamer tag used to be uh, Robin Dan Percy. So when that card came out, I had to get him. Mourinho, nothing to say. Didn't play with him. Zaha, can't even remember doing this card. I think he was really cheap. 
the only reason I did him. Ben Arthur, again, I can't exactly remember what these SBC cards were. I think there was something to do with the World Cup. And then this Iron Robin, uh, EA actually gave him to me for free. I uh, won a reward watching one of the live streams. So that's how I ended up with this Iron Robin. 15 games, 11 goals. He was all right. And I, I, Iron Robin, another player that I love in real life. And then in the club, we've just got all sorts of stuff. Team of the season, Otamendi. Team of the season, Mariano. Neuer, when he used to be 92. Uh, all these pink cards are footies cards. He used to give one to everybody before getting an upgrade. And an 84 Mbappe, which is... This is only two years ago. It's crazy to think how quickly he's become what he has. But yeah, 84 rated on FIFA 18. And I think that might have been an upgrade. I think he might have started at like 81. Uh, Cenk Tosun, only reason I'm showing him is because that's what flashback cards used to look like. Kolasinac card there that actually looks really nice. Cristiano, uh, again, for the people who played this game, I'm sure you remember him. If you didn't, basically this guy was really expensive just because he was called Cristiano. He was actually all right. He had a silver 74 rated card that went for like 100k. He was decent, but he sold because of his name. And it was the weirdest thing. Then anyone else interesting? Just a bunch of footies cards that I kept for some reason. I don't know why these didn't go into SBCs. Shabalala. A foot birthday Sissoko, which would be worth a fortune on FIFA now. And a 79 rated Rashford. Again, another one who's come a long way in just the two years since this game was released. So, that is the team. And right now, I am going to go and try and find a game and see if we can get one. So, in like the FIFA 19 episode, I did search for a game and I searched and I searched. And I searched, and I just couldn't find an opponent. So once again, we have got to jump back into the single player. I did say I was going to play a friendly uh, against one of you guys, but my schedule got messed up. I didn't get to record this on the weekend like I wanted to, so I just didn't think there'd be anyone around to play me on a, on a random Wednesday afternoon while people are at work at school. So I just decided to do the AI again, but... Go down, drop me a follow on Twitter, and hopefully we can get a friendly sorted for FIFA 17. Now, I'm going to shut my mouth, and so you guys can watch the pre-match. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. In the commentary box, it's uh, with great view up here, Alan, and a great game, I think, in prospect. Yeah, we've got the best seats in the house, and uh, looking forward to an entertaining match here. So much success in this stadium. Anfield for Liverpool Football Club in the 70s and 80s. It's still regarded as a, a mecca for many visitors from all around the world. Yeah, I remember visiting it in 1989. That, that was a good <laughs> night. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed you haven't mentioned that, Martin. Thank you, Anfield. Enjoy the game. So, as I'm sure you're all aware, this is part of a retro FIFA series that we're doing on the channel to the build-up to FIFA 21. And so far, we've only played FIFA 19 and 18 because we've been doing it in reverse order. But I can say that coming back to FIFA 18, unlike FIFA 19, was actually so much more fun. Doing the FIFA 19 episode, I actually had no fun in the game that I played. And on this FIFA, even though it was just a game against, you know, squad battles... Uh, the legendary AI for whatever reason I just really enjoyed it and I'm not exactly sure what it is about FIFA 18 because at the time I just remember thinking it was all right but after FIFA 19 and 20 FIFA 18 feels so fun I can remember the time shooting being a bit boring and it was actually one of the main reasons I didn't play online because you could genuinely have no ability on this game whatsoever. But as long as you had players with decent shooting, you could just get the ball at the edge of the box, find yourself a bit of space, and do a time for finesse shot, and just score. And I, to me, that was no fun, which is why I tended to stick to squad battles, because it wasn't as big of a problem. And then, we've got to talk about this Kaka. 
because I can remember at the time again uh, when they released him and he has that 55 stamina. A lot of the big YouTubers were complaining. I can remember Nepenthes complaining and I can remember Zwayback complaining. And they were right to complain because it made the card just die. Like, like the half-time 60th minute. You could see there he had no stamina left. But other than that, you've just seen the two goals he scored, especially the second one. He was such a fun card to use. And it was such a shame that EA didn't boost his stamina all the way. But was it? it don't matter now, I suppose. But, you know, I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, Ronaldinho was a lot of fun to come back and use. R9 is absolutely broken. Probably the best card I've ever used on a FIFA. I'd have to give it some thought, but I think he is. Uh, and it was just, the whole team was fun. You know, Thiago Silva, always a pleasure to use him. Martial, best left back in FIFA history, probably. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I had a lot of fun coming back to this game. And if you guys have got FIFA 18, just on the wait to FIFA 21, it might be nice to just come back on, chuck it in and just have a laugh and play with some of your old teams. Look at the transfer market, see what players were like, see what ratings there were, you know, and just, I don't know. I'm getting a bit nostalgic here, but I did enjoy it. Absolutely smashed that team, because of course we did. Squad battles, GOAT. But you already knew that. And now it is time to get into some packs, finally. So we've got some packs in the store. Let's get into this. Wow, this commentary is long. I am actually running out of breath doing this. So we've got four premium gold packs in the store. Not as good as the packs we had on FIFA 19. But hopefully we can get something, because I want to show you a walkout. First one, that's nothing. Not even a rare. So basically, if you get a board or a walkout, the side of the pack like lights up. And I'm definitely going to be able to show you it because we'll go on the World Cup game mode and I can show you it on there. But I'm hoping I can show you it on normal Ultimate Team as well. And I'll tell you one thing, coming back to this, the menus are so slow. Just You can see that just the way scrolling, scrolling to and from each card was slow. The system, you know, when you're going back, because they change it, do these slight little tweaks every year, but it makes a huge difference, like how you store things in your club, how you send things to the transfer list and stuff. That pack is nothing again, although it is a rare player. And right back Italian, Chelsea. 79 rated Zappa Costa. Yeah, so basically, when you get a rare in the pack, you get like a flare, fly out. And if you've got three rares in the pack, let's say, then three flares will fly out. And if it's a board or a walkout, like I've already said, you get like a... A light down the side of the pack. And we'll definitely be able to show you it. Hopefully in one of these two packs. So into the third one. No, nothing again. Another non-rare. Like, no, there was no flare flying out the pack. And it was, in fact, Funes Mori. And yeah, like I was saying, just dealing with it like this changed. Uh, the way you deal with the pack, if that makes sense. The way you store things in your club. The way you quick sell things. The way you tag things. It changed. They do little tweaks every year, and going back to it is just weird. It feels like a completely different game. And on to the final of the normal packs. Not a board or walkout, but we do get a rare. Italian, centre mid, Chelsea. Oh, Jorginho. Only an 81 on this game. So our two rare players were two Italian Chelsea players. Wonder what the chances of that were. Paolo Pazzini was still on FIFA then. He might still be now, but he was genuinely about 50 if he is. So, that is it for the packs, but obviously we're not done, because onto the World Cup game mode we go. Whew. So, here we are on the World Cup game mode. Look at the record, by the way. Undefeated. I didn't play an online game, but don't worry about it. No, I did. I tell a lie. I definitely did an online World Cup. I definitely did at least one. But I, I stuck to single player more on this as well. We're just going to have a quick look at the team. Not as in-depth as last time. Of course, Thiago Silva is in here. 21 games. A Brazilian back lot. I've just got an obsession with Brazilians. I always have. Then we've got Rui Costa in there. Uh, Lothar Mateus. Cam at Ronaldinho. 93 Thierry Henry, who I haven't even played a game with. And a 98 Pele, who I actually remember not liking. If I'm... Um, thinking correctly. I don't think I liked him very much. Then on the bench, a Yashin, Deco, Hernandez, Moore, and a Kocha. 
I remember it just got so boring once they dropped the Icon SBCs. It was so easy for everybody to get a really good team. And I, it kind of turned me off the game, to be honest. And then in the club, a 95 Griezmann, a 94 Neymar, 92 Suarez, 92 Kane. Uh, just to explain why some of these players are so high rated. So Griezmann, for example, he didn't start as a 95. But what happened on this mode, instead of giving out informs for good games, uh, for man of the matches, whatever, they just boosted the card. So let's say Gabi Jesus, just for example, scored a hat-trick in one of the games. He'd go for an 84, and instead of getting a another separate card that would be 87 rated, his card would just jump up to an 87 rated. So yeah, that makes sense. Because I know some of you definitely won't have played the mode, so I just want to explain that. Now, over to the store, because let's be honest, the pack opening is really what people want to see. We have got the icon pack ready and waiting to go. That is going to be opened at the end. Before that, we're going to crack open some of the normal packs. And now I'll be able to show you what a walkout or a board looks like. Hopefully. Should be able to. There it is. Side of the pack lights up. We've got three rears in here because three flares came out. Croatian, left mid. And yeah, that is going to be Perisic. So this is another one. 87 rated. Didn't start as an 87 rated. But obviously, Croatia made the World Cup final. Unless I'm getting that wrong. No, they definitely did. They definitely did. Because they beat England and I don't want to talk about it. It haunts me to this day. Well, Perisic is in fact a duplicate. But what you can do on this game mode is send him to your duplicates pile, which is great. I love that. And then what you're seeing here is every time you open a pack on the World Cup game mode, you've got a free pack in normal ultimate team. So let's say you open four packs here with coins, you would get four packs on normal ultimate team as well, which is pretty cool. Into the second pack, only one rare player. Brazil, right wing. Oh, Hulk. 83 rated Hulk. I can't remember if Hulk went to the World Cup, to be honest. Genuinely can't think. Uh, nothing else in the pack, really. Obviously, we get another what, free pack. Pretty much everything is duplicates. These are, these were the bad packs. When you got a pack full of duplicates, this this was not good times. Because yeah, everyone just wanted to try and complete the set and try and get every player if they could. So into the third pack. Come on, let's see a big player. A big walkout. I haven't got Ronaldo or Messi, so it'd be nice to see one of those two. Three rears in this pack. French, right back. Is this Pavard? Oh, it is. 89 rated as well. There you go. Another example of it. There was not a chance that Pavard was anywhere near 89 rated at the start. But he had a fantastic World Cup. He scored that incredible goal as well. And Pogba in the pack. Ooh. I'll tell you what. I could have done with this pack at the time. Because that is a, a nice little pack there. Not many duplicates in it either. And, of course, another three pack. So let's quick sell the rest of that. And... One more pack. We have got 50k coins though, so we could just leave it at that. But we'll have one more. One more before the icon. And three rears in the pack. Brazil, centre back. Oh my god, no way. Ah, Marquinhos. I thought for a second there we were going to get a Thiago Silva to end things, but we don't. Marquinhos, his partner in crime these past years. And uh, Hernandez in the pack as well. So not a bad little pack. And of course, our free pack. So let's quick sell the rest of that. And this is going to be the last and final pack of the video. So if you haven't already, go down, drop a like. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like now for some good luck as well. And let's see what we get in this final pack. Come on. A9, A9, please. Portugal, Cam. Ah. Rui Costa. Look at him running about. Don't run about like that. I'll tell you what, the fireworks in the background of this look so cool. And that is going to do it for me, boys. So... Thank you so, so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. It was a lot of effort to make this. So please go down, drop a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again in the next one.
Cheers, boys.